So I bought another uh, pressure balancer uh, valve or uh, cartridge and uh, you'll notice it's not leaking anymore um, and the banging uh, didn't actually go away uh, what happens is when I flush the toilet this fluid master actually closes the water abruptly which causes a uh, what I found out to be called a water hammer which is a sudden pressure on the pipes which caused that loud banging when I switched out the pressure relief valve and um, I, I guess the old uh, pressure balancer regulator or valve here actually handled the pressure a lot better than the new one and you'll see they look almost exact except when you look at it more closely they're actually uh, slightly different um, let me put this in the light here so you can see you, you'll see inside that round circle it's it's actually flat there and you, you can't tell but the hole is actually a lot bigger where from the edge you, you could actually see uh, the metal that's in there I'm just trying to angle the light so you can see whereas the new one though the size looks exactly the same it, it has a rounded edge to it instead of being flat so you see inside the two circles you see it has that rounded edge and also the opening for the air is actually a lot smaller so I, I guess it doesn't handle the water hammer as well for this one and I had loud clanking uh, every time I flush my toilet and this is all due to believe it or not switching out a pressure balancer on my shower uh, like in, in there if, if you see my other videos so what I did to solve that was I have two solutions. I, I can either put what is called a, a water arrestor, water hammer arrestor right here, which I could buy an adapter for, like a, a mini one by, I think, Sue something uh, plumbing um, that, that goes here. But what, what I actually did was I actually turned this so that it shuts the water not abruptly but slowly so now you'll see when I flush the toilet and, and the water shuts off it, it doesn't do that sudden shut off which doesn't cause the water hammer so while, while it's filling up there uh, let, let me go back to comparing these so if you look at it side by side, now is when you can see the difference. And let, let me let, let me try to shine a flashlight. Yeah, you see that hole there? So that's a lot bigger than this hole here. So that hole is a lot smaller compared to that one. So there are slight differences in each of these models, even though this is the recommended uh, replacement part. And, and that slight difference did, did make a difference for me because it caused, uh, it handled the water pressure not as well. So you, these, you see there it actually shut off slowly and I didn't have that loud banging noise and, and it was loud. I, I, I was actually very concerned that, you know, over time it, it would just, uh, you know, be very bad for the um, pipes and, and for the joints and all of that. So, but now, uh, as you can see, it doesn't drip anymore and... Uh, I, I believe that first valve that I bought was was defective, and I I bought a, another another one 
put it in and it didn't leak anymore, but it still had the loud banging noise. And again, if I switch this old one in, and I've done this uh, probably about five, six times, and, you know, finally, I mean, I, I switched these out about five, six times, and I still had the banging noise from these new models, and I never had it from this. So it wasn't, you know, the air in the pipes or anything like that. I consistently let out all, all of the air in the pipes when I turned on the water again. So, um, but, you know, there you go. Um, I, I, I do want to... Uh, I, I, guess, I guess in my next video, I'll, I'll give you uh, extra tips on some of the things I did. All right, thank you for watching.